What is up you guys, it's Bolty98, and in this video we have a ton of more Modern Warfare 3 content to talk about. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you haven't already, hit that sub button because I think 93% of you guys watching this video are not subscribed right now. Hit the sub button so you never miss out on any of the Modern Warfare 3 news. So what we're going to be talking about mainly here is a bunch of leaked information uh, as far as guns, uh, best, and all types of stuff like that. Like class setup stuff. You got the guns, the best. We have a lot of stuff to talk about. The gloves, the best. Um, we have guns, everything thing to get into so let's go ahead and get into it we're going to talk about the gloves first um basically our perk system the gloves and vest i have not seen anything about helmets or boots yet but i do have numerous we do have numerous amount of gloves i think these are going to be all the gloves and vests that we have in the game now the vest we already kind of knew because in the last video we talked about them but now we actually have images of what these vests look like and how you can select them in the perk system so here they are um, again, we have the gunner vest, the overkill vest, the gren the grenadier vest, the infantry vest, scout vest, and tactical vest. These are the six vests that we have uh, confirmed to be in Modern Warfare 3 right now. Like I said, uh, this kind of confuses me with overkill and uh, I think, what was the one, uh, grenadier or gunner? Just because I think grenadier or gunner was basically overkill. So it, it confuses me a little bit on everything. We'll just have to see what this does and what these vests actually do. It looks like Grenadier and uh, Tactical Vest are going to give you an extra grenade or lethal. And then the Tactical will obviously give you an extra Tactical, like a uh, stun... Uh, flash or any sort of any type of like tactical equipment basically that you can think of it'll give you an extra one of that or maybe turn your lethal to a tactical we're not sure but that's just what I think that will do then we hop over to our gloves yes we do have a five confirmed gloves for the game uh, we have starting we have starting the gloves off, we have the tactical combat gloves, the scavenger gloves, the marksman gloves, the assault gloves, and specialist gloves. So those are the five gloves that we have. Obviously, we can go ahead and not scavenger gloves. We know what scavenger gloves are. Um, we've been so used to scavenger gloves being like the box you drop but now that you're going to be using scavenger gloves does this impact does this impact how the this impact how the scavenger will be presumed or how it looks in the game because we're so used to seeing that scavenger yellow box kind of drop uh as you're playing now that you're playing with gloves are they going to have that yellow box or will it be like your guy just kind of i mean obviously it's not going to be an animation or anything but it's still a little question in mind in the back of my head that i have but i don't really know what tactical marksman assault and specialist gloves could be i mean i think specialist gloves may be something that helps your special ability uh if they still go the special ability route that could help that like regen or show up faster but besides that i'm really not sure what we have there um so the gloves are a bit more harder to kind of like hopefully with time we get more information on it so those are the vests and gloves let's go ahead and start getting into more of the uh serious i guess content where everybody wants to see the weapons the weapons are we do have a good amount of actual like content as far as weapons go we have a good list so let's go ahead and get into them starting we're gonna go ahead and start with the ar so you can see we have a ak556 a cqg58 an anvil b a mcw uh, MTZ596, I believe. I can't really see that well, um, but you can see just fine, hopefully. Um, those are the guns right there if you want to pause and take a look. Um, I actually do have an in-game look at one of these weapons that I'm about to show you guys here. It is the Anvil B, I believe. It, this is just based off my knowledge. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this is the Anvil B, uh, and the map is Scrapyard. So this is an in-game footage of this gun being used. Um, and of course, these are the ARs. These are five ARs, and you can then we move over to are all right now we're gonna look at our battle rifles we have a battle rifle called the bass b the mtz 762 the sidewinder and if you look right to the right of the sidewinder you see the tac v is making a return i don't know what this gun looks like I, it could be the exact same tac v we see here in modern warfare 2 it could have some visual differences or it could be a completely different type of gun we have no idea uh yet i just haven't seen that one just yet but it is in the, it is confirmed that we do have the tac v in modern warfare 3 the sidewinder looks a little bit like like the fal in my opinion but all right so here is our sniper list we have the kb 
KVB73, KVS Terminus, AMR50. We have one at the far end that just doesn't even really have a name. It's like weapon something. I don't know. But those are the four confirmed snipers, or at least three confirmed snipers, and one that just kind of has the image of a sniper. You can make out to be whatever you want. Um, we do not have that a confirmed name for that one yet. So those are four sniper images, though, and three of the snipers that have names. So we're going to take a look at just weapons that we now have a list of, and it is a doozy of a list. I'll put the list up for you guys to read on your own, but we have like the AK-556, the COG-58, the Anvil B, the MCW, the MTZ-556, the MTZ-762, which is basically like a SCAR-8. Then we have a Lock-9, which... I mean, you can go ahead and kind of mix that up to Lockman Sub, Lockman 556 area. And it does have in parentheses that is basically an MP5. We have the WSP9, which is uh, apparently a Uzi variant or basically a Uzi uh, style gun, uh, which we haven't seen yet. And then we have the SAR-9, Striker 45, which we can assume is not going to be obviously the exact Striker 45 we had from Modern Warfare 2019, but more like a UMP 45 variant gun. Maybe it comes comes out to be the UMP 45 for Modern Warfare 3 or Modern Warfare 2, the original one, which would be cool because we haven't seen that style of gun in a minute. So it'd be cool to actually see that one come back. Bass B, Sunwinder, KVB 73, KVS Terminus, AMR 50, Rival 9, and the Rafika pistol. Uh, I'm assuming it's a pistol. The Rafika from MW2, the only Rafika that I've heard of are the pistols from MW2 that were the burst rifle. So those could be definitely making a return um, since it is Modern for three and we've seen a lot of other guns uh like the uzi scar 8 and ump 45 possibly making return so we could definitely see plus we've seen a lot of uh new maps including the scrapyard map and all that so we could definitely definitely see a mw2 weapon coming out for this mw3 game let me know down below if you guys are excited about this mw3 let me know what make sure you like the video subscribe uh at 500 subscribers on youtube and 500 followers on tiktok we will be doing a massive uh black cell bundle giveaway where i will be giving picking one viewer or one follower from each youtube and tiktok to give a black cell bundle to and so make sure you follow make sure you subscribe because once we hit 500 on both the giveaway goes live and we will begin picking names you have to be subscribed so make sure you are subscribed but anyways guys that's gonna be it for this one i will be keeping you posted so make sure you subscribe for more as all the modern warfare 3 leaks that come out i will definitely be the first to upload i'm gonna plan on uploading a video every day along with shorts on modern warfare 2 content so make sure you drop that subscribe button hit the bell so you never miss any leaks and i'll see you in the next one peace out